seen one in person before but you can smell this car on fire I think it's a truck actually I mean that traffic is they have the whole freeway closed right there look at that that's on fire too whatever that is oh my god I hope everyone's okay What's going on YouTube? I am currently over here at Button Willow Raceway where I filmed my friend Steven who is a driver with his own team for Lamborghini, with his Lamborghini. And if you guys know these bathrooms, it's like last three hours all I was thinking about was here because I drank so much water and I was like, come on, hurry up. So I'm finally here and I actually came here about a month ago and it's crazy to see it right now because today is Thursday afternoon and there's nobody out here. That's a track right there and it's pretty much dead, so now that this is done, let's go find Steven. It's nice and warm. Jeez. Oh, back here. What do you set these up for? Brake markers, references, so when you're out there, you have an idea of this is cute right here. It's putting in the work. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta run for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say act natural, that worked out perfectly. Act so what's the plan for today? Every day, get some good practice in. Hopefully put a new track record down, but really just is here to practice and gain experience. And you're racing, or you're practicing with Richie, right? Yes, Richard Antonucci. And he's basically gonna show you, I mean, wh what's the point of him being here today? The point of him being here is to act as kind of a ghost slash chase car, so he's gonna do laps in the Huracan, and I'm gonna try and beat him or try and get as close to them as possible. Gotcha, so he's gonna show you kind of the ropes as far as like pushing the car a little bit harder, tweaking it left and right, trying yeah, to learn the car. Yeah, exactly, okay. you know, training me to get feedback on the car, because it's definitely a big bonus to making the car better. You need to really get feedback on the um, car. Yeah, so if he's, so if he goes around in the car, he'll understand it and then be able to explain to you a little bit more on what else you can improve on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
nice. It is currently the morning after. Um, yesterday we went to the hotel after I came here and basically hung out, had dinner, really fun night. And then now we're at the track right now and it's currently like seven in the morning, 7.51. And US Racetronics is in this building. They're prepping the car right now. That is Steven's team that basically manages the car from track prep to getting the car ready and everything in between. So right now they're getting the car all prepped for a practice run today. As Steven was saying, he's here for a practice with Richard Antonucci. So right now we have the whole track pretty much to ourselves and he's gonna go through everything with Steven and just kind of sharpen everything. So we're here today just filming and documenting a little bit for his social media, for my channel and just overall, just to have fun. So if you guys can, please give the video a thumbs up and enjoy the video. Are you scared? No. Are you anxious? No. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> day today if you can bring him down to 40. Yeah, we just gotta go out there I mean luckily we have Richie to set a baseline so we'll yeah. know what we're working with it'll be kind of apples to apples because Richie will be able to go out and establish a baseline and we can put Steven out there to chase it. Hi 
good start, but this is gonna be a new tire run, so we need everything you got. We need you pushing all the brake zones. How's the track? <laughs> it's good, but you can feel the dust, that's the star Mazda. Yeah. The end corner, mm -hmm. one, two. Dusty, but other than that, it feels pretty good. Uh, you can tell the car is a little bit bumpy. Yeah. It looks like it's moving around a bit, you know? Try now. Especially on the front. And uh, having developed a relationship with US Racetronics last year, racing with Shane, I extend my help to do tests like today, where we're going to try and help improve the setup of the car for Steven. And, uh, you know, it's a nice, good, hot day to basically go through the motions and try different, different solutions and hopefully come up with a better setup that can help him and be beneficial to him in his future racing. So basically, you're here to kind of help him sharpen a little bit. Correct. Yeah, I'm here to help develop the setup of the car. And uh, I'm also a driver coach to a certain degree, even though the kid's quick ready. He's pretty fast, huh? Do you see anything that you can teach him right off the bat, or is he pretty sharp already? Well, no, his conduct's very good, so not, nothing in terms of uh, managing him as a person. Obviously, he's 14, so he has a lot more to go. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have some aqua hydrate right now. Yeah, a little sponsored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, obviously he has a nat good natural ability. You have to consider how young he is, how new this all is to him, so everything's gonna get better, but at least he has very strong commitment and desire to begin with, and that's that's where you have to start. You know, obviously with persistence, then you get better and better with experience, but his starting point's very good. He has a lot of strong desire and passion for the sport. So it's your first time here in the car from outside? Yeah. So let's see how loud it is, because I'm used to normal Harkons with other cat smugglers and stuff. Yeah. I haven't heard my car before. And your car is completely straight pipes, right? Completely straight pipes. You're going to be blown away. Because <laughs> it's, so, it's so different inside the car. Yeah. You'll laugh when you hear the downshifts. It's ridiculous, man. That's already in the Yeah, dude. Outside's clear, outside's clear. He's got about 10 laps worth. about taking it's hot and greasy maybe it'll be better over everything huh yep so let's do it in let's steps do let's yeah. do this first and then do the by track you want to put it there. back now so i think you're going to prefer it though with the, the damper adjustments you made to make sure the track okay i've been here quite a few times this is definitely not the fastest day so just don't get frustrated if you not not better than anything well, the, the main thing is just to see how far where he's off from your time, yep. right? So, like, basically he was 10, two, two and a half seconds off. Yeah. Which is yeah. good. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I wanted. So right now we just uh, 
finished just waiting on doing some back to backs with Richie and some setup changes. And so just gonna go over the data, comb through it, see what it looks like there versus what his comments are and try and find the best possible setup to get Steven back out there and turn in laps. So today I'm just helping the team run data. And so with this we're just uh, capturing all took it the data that I was logged on the car as well as the video mm -hmm. and we can overlay it. The engineering perspective it's huge. It really really helps with getting the car set up and dialed in but then also from a driver coaching perspective I'm able to look at Steven's inputs versus Richie's inputs and help them tailor each other, get the most out of the car. Mm -hmm. And you've been coaching for how long now? Uh, I've been coaching for a number of years. I mean, started racing cars in 2011, and so really that year was right when I started up my coaching business. And what do you think about Steven's progress so far? Oh, it's been huge. It's been really good to work with. Steven has come a long way in the last year and a half. That we've been yeah, here we go. Tell best time today, please. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, I gained in the first sector too, right? But then now Richie's gonna go back out. Look, focus out there, man. The car's feeling good. It's definitely a lot better than it was in the morning. And then I was gonna move and get it like I want to do a slow panning one so it like really looked like you were flying. So this here, this is US Racetronics. This is Shane's company. He's one of the guys who is in some of the previous clips, but he basically runs all of Steven's cars. So he has the Gallardo that I sold him. Then he has like the section over here where he has the Huracan and then has some shells here. You have a ton of spare parts. You have underbody panels right there. You have engines. I mean, you have literally everything you need. They have a scale right there. So you have the whole setup for racing. Basically what he's trying to do is he's looking to go into, I'm pretty sure he just got approved for the GT3 class coming up in Italy, but they're working on something right now. So they'll have, this car is for sale, so right there. So if anyone's interested in this Gallardo, um, shoot me an email right here. We're trying to sell the car. Um, I sold it to him when it was over at O'Gara Coach La Jolla when I worked there. Brand new everything, the car is flawless. And the coolest thing about it, it's actually a two-seater, so you can take people out in it if you want to, to give coaching or give people ride-alongs. And like I said, it's in perfect condition. Gonna open up the exhaust. Keep your head low, let's raise a toast in the night we will